Bye, kids. We love you. We miss you. We just wanted to pop up and say happy Easter. And we hope you're having a great time and enjoying family time with your family, celebrating Jesus. And we can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Hey, Connect Kids. Welcome. Thanks for joining us again for Online Church. Today, we're going to be talking about Easter. Now, I'm not going to be talking about chocolate eggs or real eggs or even hot cross buns. But do you ever wonder why there's a cross on a hot cross bun? or why most Easter eggs are hollow inside? We're gonna find that out later. But right now, what we're gonna talk about is resurrection eggs. Do you know what resurrection means? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Resurrection means life after death. Pretty weird, hey? But we're gonna find out about that a bit later. First of all, we have 12 eggs here. Each one has a little surprise inside, which helps us tell the Easter story. I'm going to start with number one. Wonder what's inside. A donkey? I wonder what the donkey's got to do with the story of Easter. Let's find out. In Jesus' day, most people walked everywhere. Sometimes kings rode on donkeys or horses when they entered a city. On the day that Jesus rode into their city, the people were thrilled to see him. So... That's why we have a donkey. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem on a donkey. He was riding in as the king. Number two, what's in here? That sounds like money. What's money got to do with the story? Let's have a look. There's three silver coins. They're all worth 10, so 30 pieces of silver. I wonder what that's got to do with the story. Some people only pretended to be happy that Jesus came in on a donkey, but on the inside they really didn't want anything to do with him. One of those pretenders was a man named Judas Iscariot. Because Judas Iscariot was a pretender and because he was greedy for money, he told these men that he would help capture Jesus if they would pay him 30 silver coins. Okay, so that is why we have the silver coins. Let's see what's next. Number three. A cup. It's like you'd have a big drink out of. I wonder what that's got to do with the story. Let's have a look. Jesus had a special dinner party with some of his closest friends after he arrived in the city. During the meal, Jesus stood up and held out a cup and gave everyone a drink. He said, drink of it, all of you, For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, so he had a a gathering and he had a drink with his friends. And the the significance of of what was in the cup was was, um, Jesus' blood, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Okay, let's see what number four it has inside. Oh, wow. Praying hands. Must be about someone having prayer let's find out after the dinner Jesus and his friends said that they wanted to go to the garden Jesus said he asked them to pray while he went to another place in the garden to talk to God alone he knew he was what was going to happen soon he was going to die what Jesus was willing to die though for he once said no one takes my life from me but I lay it down of my own accord which means he's choosing to die He was both God and man at the same time. It sounds like Jesus needed to pray if he knew that was going to happen. Let's see what's next. Do you know what that is? That's what they call a whip, which is what they used to um, torture people with. So let's see what that's got to do with this story. When Jesus finished praying in the garden, the men who wanted to kill him took him as their prisoner and they whipped Jesus. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. The men who wanted to kill him were afraid of losing power, so they wanted Jesus out of their way. They knew that if people really believed that Jesus was the Son of God, which he was, they would follow him, and that would cause lots of problems for them. So that's where the whip comes in. Let's see what's next in the story. 
Got a rooster? What? What's a rooster got to do with the Easter story? Shall we find out? Now Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends. And Peter realised that those who planned to kill Jesus might want to kill him too. And he was pretty afraid of that. And he even denied knowing Jesus because he didn't want to be killed himself. And the story goes that before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And Peter did this and it upset him and he broke down and wept because even though he was Jesus' friend, he still denied him because he was scared of being killed too. So that was the rooster part of the story. Shall we see what's in the egg number seven? Now this is what you call a crown of thorns. They used to make it out of branches which had thorns like rosebush thorns and they weave it into a crown and, and often put it on people's heads. So this is, this is what we can find out what happens next. Whose head did it get put on? After Jesus had been whipped, the soldiers took branches with thorns, twisted them into the shape of a crown and shoved it on Jesus' head. Jesus was taking the punishment for all the wrong things that any person had ever done or ever would do. Wow. This includes you and me. Jesus was taking the punishment for all of the things that we've ever done. And that is why he was dying for us. Okay, let's see what happens in number eight. Okay, it's, it's place, shaped like a cross, but these are actually representations of nails. Okay, and you've got to imagine that the nails that they were used in Jesus' day were really, really big, like probably this big. So this is just a small representation of the nails. But that might give you a hint as to why there's a cross on the, on the hot cross buns. Let's find out what happens with the nails. The soldiers took Jesus to the top of a hill outside the city. They nailed him to a rough wooden cross where he died a few hours later. Because Jesus loved people so much, he was willing to let himself be punished for our sins. The things we do or the ways we act that don't please God, that's what sin is. So God and Jesus loved us so much that he was willing to die for us. So that is why there's a cross on the hot cross bun to help us remember that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Okay, let's have a look in number nine. A spear. I wonder what they use the spear for. Let's find out. Jesus had already died. Just to make sure though, one of the soldiers stabbed Jesus in the side with a spear. Doesn't sound like a very nice way to go, does it? Being put on a cross, have being whipped, having a thorn of on your head, having nails and a spear put in you. But that just shows how much Jesus loves us. Okay, let's have a look at number 10. Oh, a linen cloth. That's a bit weird. I wonder what that's for. Let's find out. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in a cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock, like a shallow cave. Okay, so Jesus was wrapped up in a cloth and buried in a tomb. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, sounds interesting. Okay. We have a rock. Let's find out where the rock comes in. The stone was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb, was much bigger than the stone in the egg. It was as big as a door and probably weighed more than a car. So that's a pretty big rock. But it just took one angel to roll the stone away. Okay, so we know that an angel came and rolled the stone away. I wonder why they rolled the stone away. Let's see what's in number, the last egg. Nothing? What? Why is there nothing in the last egg? Why is it empty? Let's find out. The heavy stone was rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. The angel said, he has risen. Jesus has come back to life. Now there's that resurrection, meaning Jesus had come back to life. He would die but come back to life to show those who believed in him 
that they would live forever too in heaven with him. So someday, because he died for us, we can meet him and thank him in heaven. And that's the story of Easter, and it's true. Thanks for listening to the story. Have a great Easter. Bye. Hey, Connect Kids. Hope you're having fun at home there on this Sunday morning. We're going to get into some praise and worship. We've got our dancers here helping out. So wherever you are, if you're in your lounge room or your bedroom, make some space, make some moving space. We're going to dance and sing. So make sure you join in, okay? How's it so simple? Faith like a child. Give you an inch and you take me a mile. I feel the wind rush and thunder roll. Two feet on the water, only one way to go. I ain't gotta be afraid no more. I ain't gonna through, through the storm. I'm more than just a talker. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wave walker. I'm dancing on water. When the devil tries to shake me, I just pray harder. Even in my darkest hour, God, Holy Ghost power. When I keep my eyes upon you, Jesus, I'm a wave walk, wave walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a wave walk. I walk over my fears, over my doubts. This supernatural, it feels so natural now. I ain't gotta be afraid no more. I know you're walking through the storm. I'm more than just a talker. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wave walker. I'm dancing on water. When the devil tries to shake me, I just pray harder. Even in my darkest hour, God, Holy Ghost power. When I keep my eyes upon you, Jesus, I'm a wave walker, wave walker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 I'm a wave walker, wave walker. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa oh. I'm a wave walker, and you will make a way when it feels like there's no way. And I will walk by faith, cause you will make a way. Yeah, you will make a way. When it feels like there's no way Yeah, I will walk by faith Yeah, you will make a way I'm a wave walker, I'm dancing on water When the devil tries to shake me, I just pray harder Even in my darkest hour, God, Holy Ghost power When I keep my eyes upon you, Jesus I'm a wave walker, I'm a wave walker I'm dancing on water When the devil tries to shake me I just pray harder Even in my darkest hour God, Holy Ghost power When I keep my eyes upon you, Jesus I'm, You make a way You will make a way When it feels like there's no way I will walk by faith Yeah, you will make a way Good job, guys.